Hello, everybody. So, this is going to be a fun video. We're covering Farfetch'd, okay? Let me also fix this little heading thing. Um, if you're new here, this is a ROM hack for Pokemon Ultra Sun. And the main, I'm just going to, this is going to be like a 10 second intro. I'm not going to talk about it too long. But the main thing is that the power levels in this hack are very high and that every Pokemon is massively buffed and reworked um, for the most part. Um, and tons of new moves. Like, there's dozens and dozens and dozens of new moves, probably 100 plus at this point. Um, 28 plus custom new abilities, etc. Um, you know, all kinds of stuff is massively uh, changed. So, if that kind of thing seems appealing to you, then, you know, listen, you can see uh, how I handled Farfetch'd. So, uh, did I miss the video? I kind of did. Okay, so far-fetched. Um, first things first, fighting flying typing. That is not anything new. Um, that's something people have always suggested and pe that people have always put. Um, it fits very well. So there you go. Great offensive dual step combo. Previously, the only one is Halucha. However, there are two new ones. One of them is far-fetched. The other one I will keep a secret, but you can probably guess. Um, yeah, so that's great. Uh, Farfetch'd has awesome new buffs. So in this hack, I actually reworked a lot of critical hit rate moves. Um, and mostly that is really good for, I mean, it's good for all Pokemon that learned them, which a lot of Pokemon learned them, but it's great for Ruthless Pokemon, which is a new ability um, that is essentially like Sniper. It gives you a 50% boost to your crit moves. However, Super Luck fits far Farfetch'd far better, of course. And uh, Super Luck plus Stick means that no matter what move he uses, he'll always crit. So I've seen a lot of hacks give him stupid buffs, like, haha, 115 attack, 115 speed defeatist. And that's just stupid in my opinion. Uh, he's, I mean, 109 is very generous, like, it's far-fetched, so that's why, also because I did have to make it reach a 480 base total. If I wanted to, I could have done 450 as the min, but, uh, 480 is better, uh, especially because of the power levels in this hack. So, yeah, um, 109 attack is a lot more reasonable. It's still a little bit high for far-fetched, but, you know, it's far-fetched, who cares? Um, 106 base speed is a great speed tier, um, and he actually has an amazing, um, ability besides Super Luck and Unburden. Um, and I'll talk about the strategy for both of those abilities in a second, but Unburden is a big sleeper ability, um, super, super incredible especially with the reintroduction of gems so flying gem acrobatics on burden is a great great option i believe it's one of the only flying types with stab uh, acrobatics and unburden at the same time so that's really awesome with acrobatics you know it gets 130 base power because it's 100 base power i did quote unquote nerf acro but you have better physical flying stabs such as drill peck and brave bird and dive bomb and dual wing beat which i'll get into as well so you're also not that frail. You have 65, 70, 70 bulk. Not the worst. Not great, obviously. It's far fetched. Should not be bulky. Um, but yeah, most importantly is the speed and the attack boost and the dual typing, fighting, flying, dual stab is incredible. Um, and the abilities and the move pool. So with super luck and a, a stick, all of his moves will crit. So you know you have your regular moves. You got dive bomb, which is a flying type high jump kick. You got brave bird. You got close combat. You got your regular spin moves you know those all will no always crit okay so that essentially gives farfetch a 50 percent attack boost on any of his moves as long as he has super luck super luck equipped and he has a stick on his item so it's basically like a free choice band boost um, and that also bypasses stuff like intimidate um optionally and actually really good is what you can do what you can do is essentially i created critical hit moves that crit half the time so um in farfetch case he has leaf blade laceration night slash x scissor psycho cut drill pick and cross chop all of which have a 70 base power, 150% crit rate, okay? And they're 100% accurate. So those are awesome, all right? You have dual pick and uh, cross chop or dual stab, and you have cycle cut, X scissor, night slash, laceration, and leaf blade for grass, steel, dark, bug, and psychic type coverage. Um, uh, what am I trying to say? Excuse me, I, I, I um, also trying to thought, I should probably minimize that so I don't get distracted anymore. Check that after, okay. Um, yeah, so what that means is essentially Super Luck gives a plus one crit rate, okay? So with Stick, Stick has a plus two crit rate. Um, the crit rate moves, the, the, half, the, the crit half the time, those also have a 50% or plus two crit rate. So when you combine Super Luck with those moves, you always crit and you can actually run a different item. So you can run Choice Band, Super Luck, um, you know, with fucking Cross Chop or Life Orb, Super Luck with Cross Chop and Joe Peck, and that is extremely, extremely powerful. Uh, Life Orb boosted, Super Luck critting Cross Chop and Joe Peck per stab off of 109 base attack. It's really strong, um, and he is very fast. And obviously, um, he does have access to priority moves. Um, he has access to Aerial Ace, which is 55 base power plus 2 priority, and he has access to Sucker Punch, which is 75 base power plus 2, plus two priority, excuse me. And then he has First Impression, which is 60 base power, but it always crits, so it's effectively 90 base power again, um, which is mostly just for Pokemon with Ruthless and Technician and stuff, not relevant here. Um, it's basically the same move. Uh, but it is better though, because it also bypasses Intimidate, so that's cool. Um, first Impression would be really good on like an Unburden set with like a Bug Gem, if you want to run that, like Bug Gem First Impression on Burden. Um, Burden has so many awesome applications, like it's such an awesome ability that people really under people really sleep on it all of the time, that's kind of sad, um, especially in a hack 
where you can plan out your fights. You know, you don't have to worry about the AI switching around. You can really just tailor your moveset and just run Unburden and sweep. You do have that. You do have access to Swords Dance and Bulk Up, so those work great with Unburden as well. Um, in this hack, there are a lot of changed items. So, um, for example, one of the best items with Unburden is uh, Quick Claw because Quick Claw now always triggers. Also, if you feel if you are curious about any of these move changes or item changes, you can go to the description below and you can check all the stuff out yourself. I have it all very. Uh, laid out I have it all laid out nicely and in detail um the moves as well you can see all these moves listed here i'll even go to the 50 percent crit ones just to show you can see all these moves and there's tons of new moves and, and changes as you can see so that's really awesome if you want to go check that out um but held items so yeah quick claw is a one-time use but it always activates so that's really awesome you can essentially guarantee priority on any move ever um once of course so that's really awesome and that works great with uh unburden so you can use unburden plus literally any move and you can guarantee that unburden boost and you still get priority on that move so you can use fucking fighting gym close combat or whatever you know it doesn't matter it's awesome all right really really cool stuff right there i love that um of course you still have the regular unburden stuff so for example under psychic terrain you got psychic seed you got electric seed grassy seed those are all great um you know, that also boosts, for example, like grassy terrain. Um, yeah, sorry, I lied. You don't get the you don't get the boost from terrain because you're a flying type. So that's not relevant, but it is just to pop your, to pop your item instantly. You can use focus sash on Unburden with reversal. Dear God, reversal is so powerful on Farfetch'd um, with Unburden and 109 base attack and 106 base speed. You also don't have to run any speed investment with Unburden. So you can run zero speed investment and you can actually put investment into HP if you wanted. Um, just, you know, to take it a little bit better. Um, you know, that's pretty cool. Um, tons of great coverage, like I said. Um, you have amazing coverage. You got Play Rough, Gunk Shot, Poison Jab, Seed Bomb, Grass Knot, all kinds of awesome stuff on top of all the 50% crit moves. Um, and then, of course, Fighting Flying Dual Stab is incredible in its own right. Um, you also have access to a lot of other awesome stuff. So yeah, Unburden is incredible, okay? Unburden's awesome. There's also Buffed Fling, which is kind of funny. Um, buffed Fling is essentially like... So a bunch of moves now. Like, so for example, uh, Zap Plate, Burn Plate, or what's it called? Flame Plate. Zap Plate, Burn Plate, and oh my god, I said Burn again. Zap Plate, Flame Plate, and Toxic Plates. Always Toxic Burn and Paralyze the opponent. And they are 100 base power, so it's essentially a priority 100 base power. Also, yeah, Fling is priority now as well. So it's a priority move um, with Unburden. You fling your, your Flame Plate at them, you get a priority move that always burns. Uh, 100 base power, which is not stab, but it's still solid. 100 base power move that always burns. And that, or, you know, you get the toxic, whatever you want to run. And then you get that unburden proct. So fling is definitely a good option. You can also use fling plus iron ball just for a really strong move. Fling plus iron ball is 150 base power now. And of course, it's a priority move, so it doesn't, it ignores the iron ball speed drop. So that's a great option for fling. Um, it's normal type because there's a bunch of, a bunch of normal types that are going to get it, like slacking and fucking uh, pessimian and, and uh, a couple more. Um, uh, Empipom, etc. Um, Empipom has that already. That's what that one's finished. You can check all those videos out yourself. Um, it's so awesome, and it's just a really strong one. A reversal on Burden is incredibly powerful. We get that 200 base power. You know, Swords Dance. You can also use like Quick Claw plus Swords Dance if you want, like just to get that instant on Burden. Quick Claw, Quick Claw Swords Dance. Obviously, it's useless in terms of like using the Quick Claw on Swords Dance. Of course, that's useless, but it's good in the sense that. Um, you get that plus one, plus two attack and plus two speed in one turn. So it's like a move. It's, it's, it's almost like an item that gives you plus two attack and speed. Um, or you can use bulk up. That's better because bulk up with priority means that you take that physical hit better. And of course, with unburdened sets, you don't have to run speed investments. You can use a max HP, max attack, bulk up, quick claw, out, out speed, whatever's in front of you. Say whatever's in front of you is a 115 base speed mon. It's going to kill you one hit with a physical move. Okay. You run bulk up with max HP. And now you're actually taking that physical hit very nicely. And you have plus one attack. And you have that unburdened speed boost now. So that's awesome. Another awesome thing you have is uh, Acclimate, Z Acclimate and Power uh, power Trip. So Power Trip uh, is the same power as it used to be. However, it actually gives you plus one attack now. So you can use that with Bulk Up or Swords Dance and, and get incredible boosts. Also, Z Acclimate will give you stab on any type and it gives you plus one to all your stats. So you can use Z Acclimate uh, plus Power Trip. You can turn into a Dark type if you want. You can use uh, you can also use Z Acclimate to get... Uh, uh, so basically, Z Acclimate plus Super Luck means that you get stab on any of those 50% crit moves. So it's very versatile. So say for this boss fight, they're weak to Bug. Okay, then run Z Acclimate X Scissor. You know, this fight they're weak to Psychic. Run Z Acclimate Psycho Cut. With Super Luck, that'll always crit. So you basically get plus one attack, plus one defense, plus one special defense, and plus one speed on top of stab 
on your move, on any move of any of any of your types. It's really awesome. Z Acclimate's a great option. Power Trip, you can also turn into a Dark type and get extremely powerful Power Trips. That only has 3 PP though, for balancing reasons. But of course, after Z Acclimate Power Trip becomes 120 base power, you get plus one attack each time you use it. It's really awesome stuff right there. You also have good utility with like Grass Whistle and Parting Shot uh, and Battle Cry. Battle Cry is minus two to both their offenses. Um, Feather Dance obviously is earlier on in the game. That's minus two attack. Um, Dual wing beat is really strong. Dual wing beat is 45 base power per hit and has a good flinch rate. Um, before you get drill pack, it's a good option. Brave Bird and Dive Bomber are awesome. Brave Bird is 125 base power. Uh, Dive Bomb is 130, but if you miss it, it's like high jump kick. So I would prefer Brave Bird personally, but you know, that bomb's great as well. Um, flying Press is actually exclusive to only, for the most part, I believe it's only going to be the Flying Fighting types Pokemon, um, which there are three of uh, now. Obviously, Halucha and Farfetch are two of them. Where is Flying Press? Flying Press is now 125 base power and it can't miss with Hustle. One of those flying fighting mons will have Hustle. Um, it's not far fetched, but it's relevant for that. But yeah, it's a good move. It's just 125 base power, no drawbacks, and it has a unique effect of hitting, flying, fighting, and flying at the same time. So it has unique type effectiveness. So it's a pretty good stab combination. It's a, it's a gimmicky move, but it's still really strong and has no drawbacks. So that's, it's a pretty good option nonetheless. Um, and you have so much cool stuff with far fetched. Um, you always have. Uh, unburden sets again. Sash unburden on um, Sash unburden reversal. Quick claw unburden. Psychic gem or seed. Sorry, seed unburden. Any gem unburden. Acrobatics unburden. It's has so many amazing tools that you have as far fetched. It's really awesome. Um, Zimi first gives you plus two attack. Um, you got some multi hit moves for early game. You know, it's just it's got a lot of stuff. Grass whistle is great because uh, sleep is actually consistent now, so it lasts a consistent amount of turns, which is awesome. Also, you have baton pass, which is a little bit gimmicky, especially because it's negative priority now. So I wouldn't recommend running it, but you to you totally could if you wanted to. Um, it's not the greatest move though. Um, yeah. A lot of awesome stuff here. Uh, Grass Whistle is good, always lasts two turns. So if you outspeed the opponent, you can actually make it so you get one turn of free setup. So you can get a free Swords Dance or Bulk Up or whatever you want to do, or Z Acclimate. But if you're slower, you get two turns of setup. So you can get two Bulk Ups. Uh, of course, Swords Dance only has one BP, and Z Acclimate can only be used once. But with Bulk Up, you can get multiple boosts if you're uh, slower. For example, Sash, Unburden, uh, Grass Whistle could be a very good set. Sash, Unburden, Grass Whistle, you get that speed boost. You run book up. You could book up twice while they're asleep. Then you sweep with reversal. You know that's a great. You know there's so many, so much room for creativity with Farfetch now. It's so awesome. And yes, Farfetch does have a 50 percent chance to carry it. So if you don't get lucky, you just farm it off of the wild Farfetch. If you're doing an as and use cut it, or just catch one. I'm not gonna fucking judge you for that. And of course, if you're not doing an as then just catch another one. 50 percent chance. So um, also the ability Luminescent. Sorry, the ability Sixth Sense does uh, work like Compound Eyes, so it does give you a higher chance to. Uh, get held items if you really wanted to farm it, but it's not, it's 50% chance, man. It's not bad at all. That's the highest chance I can give. So I believe that's actually technically a 56% chance, but that looks ugly. So I put 50, 50, but there's actually three slots. There's 50, 50, five and 1%. So it's 56% total. Um, yeah, you got so much awesome stuff here. Really great coverage, really fucking solid mon. Um, great speed here, even without Unburden. Of course, 106 outspeeds, very common, you know, base 100, base 105. Um, and then of course with Unburden, he's incredibly awesome. People, I don't want people sleeping on Unburden, so I hope I didn't undersell how great Unburden is. And then, of course, Super Luck is just Unga Bunga, crit everything, 50% attack boost on all my moves. And then Super Luck plus the crit moves means you don't even have to run a scope lens. You know, so it's really, really, really awesome. I love the way Farfetch turned out. So I hope you guys do as well. He does have incredibly powerful stab, like Dive Bomb and Submission to, to spam with Super Luck Stick. You know, you can just kill everything with those moves, and it's just really fucking fun. Um, of course, it is easier, you know, it's harder to get on the field, it's frail, etc. But that's always... The way that Pokemon works, you know, it's, it's it, this attack will be pretty hard, so it's not as easy and said and done, but it's still pretty easy to cheese the AI, um, despite the efforts I'm going to be making. It's still pretty easy to cheese the AI, so yeah, super, super versatile, super, super fun, super strong, super awesome changes. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, please make sure that you subscribe if you listen this far. This will be a quicker video, so um, you know. Subscribe for some more videos. You can also go check out my other videos. You can join my Discord server down below um, in the description. You can check out all these changes for yourself in the description on the Google Sheet. Um, in the in the Discord server, you can play my older hack, and you can also uh, talk to me in there. You can get live updates on my progress on this hack because it is currently a work in progress. I am almost finished with Johto, so I'm about, uh, I believe, over one third finished with the changes now for Mon changes. Maybe almost one third. Four thirty divided by three. What is that? 143. Okay, I'm almost one third finished. So there you go. Um, by the time of recording, of course, if you're listening to this later down the line, then I might be even done already. Who knows? So yeah, uh, I'll be back for more. I hope you guys like, you know, leave a like on this video if you liked it. If you find this change interesting or fun, drop a like. That'd be helpful. Also, leave some comments down below. That helps with the algorithm. Helps. Helps. Excuse me. I talk very fast if you can't tell. Um, 
it helps get my videos recommended to more people. So that would be very helpful for me. You know, help me help you, that kind of thing. Uh, I think that's about it. I covered everything. So thank you so much. Also, last thing, uh, Power Herb is also, you know, there's so many off, like awesome strategies you can do with Unburden, okay? Um, Power Herb is a good one as well, like Sky Attack or Solar Blade um, is awesome. Uh, Sky Attack and Solar Blade. Solar Blade is just good grass coverage. And then Sky Attack is very powerful. Um, Sky Attack always crits, so it's effectively 180 base power now. And it's 100% accurate. So that's a great move with uh, Unburden if you want to do that. You also have um, White Herb or six yeah no white herb yeah yeah power herb is for recharge white or, or charge up moves and there's no recharge moves um power all those moves are actually repurposed speaking of i could talk about superpower it's not a recharge move but it's one of the many new moves that are 150 base power minus two attack so for special attack so close uh, superpower um is a post game move only but it's good nonetheless um it's a uh, mons only by level up and those mons get it naturally but a lot of mons don't get it by leveled up um, and they have to get it by post game tutor because that's one of the few tutors that are post game. Uh, but superpower is still great nonetheless. Um, you can use superpower plus unburden plus white herb. You click superpower, you get that attack reset because it's minus two attack, 150 base power. You can also do that with submission or close combat. It, it removes your defense drops. I wouldn't say you're using it for removing the defense drops. You're mostly just using it to proc your unburden. But of course, you can always do the same thing with click claw. So I don't know why you would bother. I mean, if you really needed the bulk, I guess you could because actually at 65 HP with max investment, you are decently bulky. You're not really bulky, but like you're decent. Like you can take some hits, you know, with a uh, max HP investment with Unburden sets. So yeah. Also, you have access to infinite usability capsules in this hack, so you can always change between Super Luck and Unburden as you desire, as you need it. Say you need Unburden to sweep this trainer, you run Unburden. Say you need Super Luck for all the other situations, you run Super Luck. You know, simple as that. You also have access to infinite and instantaneous EV training, so you can customize your EV spreads. So say for one fight you need max attack, max speed for Super Luck sets. Okay. Next fight you need max HP, max attack. There you go. Next fight you need to speed creep something. Okay you know, save your EVs. There you go. Simple as that. Really awesome stuff here. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'm going to shut up now because I already did my outro. So goodbye. And thank you for listening.